welcome back villains. I am doing a little bit of a catch-up video. I apologize. I am a super, super behind on Xenario, Xenario Heroes content. I know uh, that here we are today. Obviously, we are going to do the title track of their latest mini album, which came out today, uh, night before the end. And then we will also watch Love and Fear instead, featuring YB Yoon Doo-yeon and Save Me, all of which are also on the mini album. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Sorry, I'm picking up a little bit of a cold and uh, it's making my voice sound all funny. So here we go. I almost feel like I should, no, I won't. I was gonna say, I almost feel like I wanna do the other ones first and then come back. But I know that a lot of people will be clicking on this video just for the Night Before the End music video re reaction, so I'll leave it in the beginning. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Oh! Moth or butterfly? emotionally painful to listen to. Like it almost like cuts off at the end there. The music video is actually really incredible. Like the the scene of there's just so much of them like suspended in time, fall, or technically falling. Um, the moss butter 
butterflies. It's like pretty and like painful to listen to all at the same time. The lyrics are like gut-wrenching. Um, I really like as a title track that it's very different from the other t title tracks. This one's more like emotionally impacted and um, I want to... Uh, I don't want to say like not as hard hitting, but like that's the only way that I, I can describe it because I can't think of the words. It's a very beautiful song. It gives me that like same feeling when I listen to like Pluto. Yeah, I would have goosebumps, goosebumps out with this part specifically. Oh, wait. All right. Love and fear. Oh, the hair! No, I'm not gonna get it. I'm just gonna get it. Don't push anybody off the J-Rock feel. Incredible. Since his hair looks fluffy. Oh, that V neck is V ing. Oh my god, the eighties like hair band hair. The curls look fantastic. Puppet master. I love it. I mean, I didn't expect anything less from anything that they do. I obsess with their music and I still listen to most of their music daily. Uh, instead, I know YB. Like, know of YB. I actually have heard a few of their songs. Um, they do give me like classic rock vibes. So, I'm very interested. No. Did I not? No. What is, what is, what is that makeup? 
What? Why? Why are we sounding already like metal? Like the arm outline, right? Right, right, but. I'm going back to my freaking teenage years. Oh, fuck, man, I'm obsessed with this song. Oh my god. Oh, the fact that I didn't listen to this a month ago makes me kind of mad. Oh my, that was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, <laughs> it reminded me of like a kind of mix of metal, like. Uh, musically, but it has that like screamo vibe of my era, my teenage teenage years when I used to listen to screamo a lot, and <laughs> everything that one of the reasons why I love X Nero Heroes so much is just because they they give me so much nostalgia for the music that I used to listen to regularly when I was younger and I still listen to, you know? Like, the music I grew up listening to, I guess, is, would be the better way to put it. Save me. And there are so many live clips that I'm behind on, too. Good gracious. Okay. We have four totally different vibes of songs.
goodness. It's so, like, I feel like this song is so relatable uh, when you get into a certain, like, funk or place in your life where you feel like things are compiling on top of each other and you just kind of lose your sense of, of self and you just really want that extra help or you're trying to reach out to someone to someone, something, um help pull you out of like that depressing um feeling but it, it's because it's hard to do it yourself and everything just <laughs> compiling yeah and like the whatever happened like you keep replaying the, those worst moments or those memories over and over in in your head and you're on this like cycle or circle of just horrible but yeah and you're trying to get back to the person that you used to be or you were before trying to cling to that just little bit of happiness or those little small moments that are making you happy the things that keep you going the ending of this song is absolutely beautiful <laughs> will give them so much credit for having lyrics and songs which such depth in meaning and relatability but at the same time inspirational and relatable um, and hopeful we're all heroes um, to make villains <sighs> feel like they're a part of something or that they're not alone or um, knowing that there is somebody out there too who's feeling the same way that you are. And I also give I Sneer Heroes lots of credit for writing lyrics about a wide variety of things um, from mental health to more like confident be who you are lyrics to um, some ballady or not, some ballads uh, for people, some love songs. They do all of it, uh, and I truly believe that there is music and songs and for everybody, and there's discography that everybody can relate to, and I feel like there's also genres in their music that everybody can relate to. Um, 
We have four songs off of this album, all of which are very different, sound different, but at the same time have very much an Exeter Hero sound to them, or um, vibe to them. They sound incredible. Their vocals slay like always. Uh, they have some of the uh, best vocals in K-pop. Totally underrated. I wish they got way more credit than what they do. They're absolutely so talented and unbelievable so i'm excited to um hear the rest of the album soon thank you guys so much for watching i will be streaming the crap out of these songs uh probably for the next few weeks definitely on repeat for sure so i love you see you in my next video bye